Hello Inventors, in this video I'm gonna show you how we can create our own fancy gallery app in MIT App Inventor. So let me show you the demo of this app first then we will create this app step by step. So as you can see here that's the app here that we have created and here you can see that's the gallery you just need to scroll these images like this and you can select any image like this and you just need to click on here to view this in a full view like this. Now, if you want to download this, you can just simply click on that download button to download that image. Okay. And you can zoom out and zoom in this image also like this. Okay. Right. So that's the overall app we are going to create using the MIT App Inventor. Okay. So let's see how we can create this app. So here we go. So first of all, we need to click on a start new project and my project name is new gallery app okay so now that's my first screen so in the left side you'll find the layout option click on this and i'm going to use your horizontal arrangement this one and make this with an hide as fill parent like this okay and now we need to use here one extension so you just need to download that fancy gallery extension i will give you the link in the description okay so just scroll down and you will find the aix file just download this now go to the mit app inventor go to the extension click on import extension and import that aix file and just import it now you need to drag and drop that extension here like this now let's go to the block section okay now here whenever someone open the screen so whenever the screen will initialize okay then click on fancy gallery and you will find the option of this call fancy slide this one so you, you can see here the layout option like this okay let me just make it zoom so this is the layout option so what i need to do i need to select this my layout horizontal and just drag and drop it here like this now as you can see the image so how can i add the multiple images so it's simple click on the text and we are going to use here join so see that this is join now in the first we need to use here the url of image so suppose so let me just use the text again like here okay and now i'm using the pixavi okay it's a free image website okay so what i will do i will just search any image and i will use any image here suppose let me just use this one okay so open the image right click on that image and you'll see the open image in new tab now you will find the url of that image that image url dot jpg right just copy this go to the mit app inventor and just paste it here simple and now click on that extension fancy gallery and you'll find the option of separator that's the fancy gallery dot separator just use it here like this now we need to use here this again and again like suppose if you want to use the multiple so just you need to use the multiple okay like this simple now I will use again uh, like this one one more url then one fancy separator and then one more url so i just need to get three urls here go to the app inventor again and just paste it that's all now let's make it zoom out like this now what we need to do here we have added three images so what i need to tell like using the maths and i need I need to use this one and use here the three number of images is three now the caption so how can i add this so just simply copy paste this join and then we need to use here you can add any caption here suppose i'm adding only image one you can add anything here okay and here i'm adding the image two and the third one i'm adding the image three like this okay you can use any image caption so this image one caption it goes with this image first image okay simple now click listener so i need to make it true and false simple so what i will do so i'm just using the false for this click listener for the autoplay i will make it true so you can auto play your gallery okay you just need to start this so automatically image will change in few seconds now for the control i need to use the true again simple for the download i'm gonna use the true you can turn off that download button also for the animation i will make it false i don't want to use the animation here and the thumbnail i will make a true 
fix so i need a thumbnail of image okay at the bottom so i will make it true like this that's all so if you want to add the images dynamically okay so how you can do that you just need to use the firebase url here so simply when you use the firebase url so you can change your images from your firebase to your app directly okay so that's the overall app if you need any help on that so just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problems thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye